So, today we're going to be starting off the series, kick-starting it, with one of my favorite conspiracy theories that I've actually done two school reports on now, and I've studied a lot on my own. Um, if you want to watch a video about it after this, there's a good one on YouTube. Look up the Denver Airport Conspiracy Theory. Now, I'm going to be talking about that one today because it's one that I just, I can't really look past it because it, there's so much evidence to point towards something that we're not seeing, right? So let, let's start off here, okay? You have the Denver Airport. Um, when it was in construction, right, they built the first building and then they were like, oh wait, we messed it up. Everything's wrong, which everything's wrong. I think they have this plan. They didn't demolish the building. Actually, what they did was they piled up the foundation around it and built the new building on top of that. So now, underneath the ground of the Denver airport is the original building. And you might think, <clears throat> that's kind of weird. Well, they actually still use that building. There's still power and electricity sent down to it, but none of the workers are allowed down there unless they have special clearance, right? But this airport, when it was constructed, it was built by the New World Airport Commission, right? New World Order, New World Airport Commission. That's a little creepy to me. And if you want to fact check all of this, you can go find pictures, um, websites. It's, it's all out there. The New World Airport Commission only existed to build this one airport. And after this airport was completed, they shut down. They dropped off the face of the planet. This was all they built, right? So New World Order creates a building, and then, you know, then they're gone. They, they disperse. The, the company's gone, and they leave this building, right? And you can actually see that. And there's a time capsule plaque inside of the airport itself. And on the plaque, you can read the New World Airport Commission was the one that built it, right? And there's a time capsule there set so that in the future, somebody can go dig it up, and then there's everything that they need to know, right? Well, that's kind of weird. But you, you, you have to take a look at every single thing in this place, all right? First of all, let's not even talk about the blue horse statue that's named Blucifer, who was supposedly cursed, and when the architect was building it, it fell off its stand, severed the artery in his leg, and he bled out and died. That's a little gross, a little graphic. I don't know if I believe that's... It's not actually a curse, but, like, you know. Um, you have stuff like the murals, right? The murals are very important to this because... I'm trying to tell you guys, this is a New World Order headquarters, right? The building underneath, the people getting... I mean, think about it. It's a transportation route. People fly in, they fly out, right? You fly in, you stop for a secret meeting, you fly out like nothing ever happened. You, you can get out of there. I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting. You have the murals, right? There's one mural that you see on the wall, and um, it shows a soldier with a sword. And there's a bunch of people around this soldier. These people gathered around, right? and they're all dead. And the soldier is stabbing a dove. Now, if you know anything about history, a dove stands for peace. So by the soldier who looks like a Nazi soldier with a gas mask on, right? He's stabbing peace, which means he's killing the peace with this mass genocide of all these people, right? And that's, that's, not, that's not okay. He's killing all these people. And then the next picture you see, the next mural down the hallway, is a picture of everybody gathered around this uh, person reading out of a book, right? And it shows the doves returning, right? So the peace is coming back after the genocide, and there you have it. Everyone's united because everybody that ever opposed the New World Order is gone, and everyone can live in perfect harmony with each other, and everything's peaceful. It's a horribly beautiful thing. But you can't look past that. The New World Airport Commission, murals that represent the New World Order, not to mention the airport's construction design looks exactly like a swastika. Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. If you look at it from overhead, the way the buildings are laid out, it, it's exactly a swastika. It's a little creepy. Now, you have weird occurrences that have happened there. You've had this EMP go off. Um, nobody knew where it came from, what happened. Shattered the windshield of a plane. Um, I know there was a lot of trouble around with that, but then you have the weird conspiracy theorists that believe in the lizard people controlling the government, you know, and they're like, oh, they're breeding the lizard people underneath the Denver airport. That's obviously not true. You see, the Denver airport is actually just there so that people can fly in and fly out, get their information, their pickup, and they're gone. And that's what I believe, and I believe that there's a lot more that even the workers aren't allowed to say. They've been questioned, and they said they can't say anything about what's going on there. So, something's happening in that airport, whether they want to admit it or not. That's the truth untold for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch more in-depth, there's other YouTube videos, websites, 
Look up the Denver Airport for yourself and let me know what Truth Untold you want to hear next.